There's never a bad seat along Cabrillo Boulevard to see one of the biggest horse parades in the West. It took place Friday. El Desfile Historico officially ended near Milpas, but those who hung around got to see all of the horses and riders make their way back. It looked like a slow stampede as they walked and trotted back to the staging area at the start of the parade near Castillo Street. It is an old Spanish days treat, so if you missed it, remember to stick around and watch it next year. Gosh, it was so nice. I know, and the weather has been pretty cooperative. You know, yeah. Santa Barbara, we get the sea breeze, so that helps to keep the, maybe the, the people and the horses, uh, obviously, on the cool side. Let's go ahead and look outside of uh, the S-curve. Always nice to see the traffic flowing, and, of course, seeing the wharf in the distance. Uh, uh, both don't appear to be bobbing too much, so that means the winds are very light, so maybe just breezy and beautiful. Uh, smoke, obviously, we keep an eye on that. Looks like we have a lot of haze out there, but um, dare I say it looks like both the Southern Sierra fire, I think that's the long fire, and and of course, the fire up in Northern California almost looks like, um, and again, dare I say, like they've kind of quieted down perhaps, and it looks like it's still very busy up through much of the Pacific Northwest, right up into British Columbia. They've had a, ra a really just horrible uh, fire year right along with uh, the United States. It's just been one of those years where we, we would like to forget. Oh, hi, today you were the top. The top uh, score there as far as temperature at 104. Uh, Paso Robles, you topped out at 102. And then look at the beaches. And of course, that's the big changeover where we get those much, much cooler conditions. This is not a strong fall like heat wave that blows the fog all the way out into the Pacific Ocean. This allows the marine layer, this type of heat wave allows the marine layer to kind of linger. Uh, that means that inland areas are really going to be on the jealous side as far as those coastal areas being much, much cooler. All right, wind, I mean, excuse me, uh, heat warnings. And heat advisories will stay in effect through the, at least the next couple of days, maybe three days officially. Beyond that, though, is probably um, going to be a day-to-day -day thing. We might see them being extended right through much of next week. 60s along the central coast, also down around Oxnard. That means the sea breeze is in full gear. And then you get the 70s, 80s, and a quick rapid warming into the 90s once you get into the coastal valleys, or at least the interior valleys, away from any ocean influence. Looks like winds are very, fairly quiet. Humidity values pumping up right along the beaches, that means the marine layer is definitely lurking out there. And the good news, of course, is the effects of that means that we get the, the coolness right along the beaches. This is Debbie right here. The good news with Debbie is, is that she doesn't have a lot of um, time to really get her act together. But that's West Florida right there looking at just amazing amounts of rain. They might get a Category 1 storm. Uh, the water there is extremely hot. so. The